Do you even have makeup on? I don't know. Let me look closer. Do you see how it just looks like a little daisy? <laughs> Welcome back, fam. It's your girl Jess. Today's video is gonna be on my no makeup makeup look. Now, this makeup look is actually very beneficial for your skin, as well as making you look fresh, making you look good. But people don't have to be like, oh my god, do you have makeup on? You know, like if you want to go to the gym, if you want to go to the beach, if you want to like just go to the shops, but you want to look fresh. Don't want your eyebrow hairs to freaking curl. <laughs> this video is for you. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give that big video a big video, a big thumbs up and leave me a comment on what you want to see next so I can make sure to film that for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is be putting on my eye cream. Now this is the Vital Skin Botanica Range Collagen Burst Eye Cream. Now I have already put my normal eye cream um, that I use for like wrinkles and dark circles, but I used that like a few hours ago. So I wouldn't necessarily put that on if I was going to do this, but I have to because my skin and my eyes are very beautiful and dark and we want to lighten that shit up. So I'm going to use a bit of this. I just take a little small amount. So we take our ring finger because our ring finger is the lightest finger in our hand. And you want to be very gentle. I like to bring that around. It's very hydrating. You always want to make sure your under eyes are hydrated. Well, mine anyway, mine are so dry. And it is the thinnest part of our skin. Now this is where it gets funny but good and interesting and whatever. I have a few different sunscreens that I use but this is the one that I use when I want to wear no makeup because it makes me feel like I have makeup on but I don't. It's literally just a tinted sunscreen. This is the La Roche um, 50 plus SPF UVB and UVA um, antioxidant. I'm pretty sure it's both. Yes, it is both. I just realized that it was circled. So the reason why it's UVA, so UVB is basically the sunscreen that, you know, um, sorry, the sunscreen, the sun when it just hits your face, perfect. But UVA, yes, UVA is what the sun does in your skin. So it penetrates it um, and it kind of like damages your collagen and your elasticity and all that kind of stuff. So this kind of, this protects both of those um, beautiful rays of sun that we get. So you want to make sure when you're getting a sunscreen that you get UVA and UVB. This is 50 plus, which I like. It is also water resistant and it's a tinted moisturizer. It's a BB cream. So it's all in one. And you know, if you know, I always say wear your sunscreen. Hmm. I literally say in every single video. Um, so we are going to put some on. Now, the trick to this, I have tried putting a little bit on. It gets blotchy. I, I tried putting a lot on. It looks crazy. So here's what we're going to do. So I like to, can you see already how it's like just changed the color? Now with this, I also put this under my eyes because we want to make sure the sun is protecting us everywhere. True? True. Don't forget your neck as well. I always put sunscreen on my neck. Okay, when you're happy with the dots, I like to start rubbing it in with my hands. Now the reason as well you rub it in with your hands, your hands produce the most heat, which makes things blend in more better. So, you see how I'm already getting color? <laughs> it's like a bronzage. Now, when we get to under the eye, I use my ring finger and I lightly dab. And then I go crazy. Now, this is just the first layer. I personally apply two layers because I feel like the first layer is just kind of doing its thing. The second layer is what really makes it stand out. I now look a little bit orange, but I promise you, we are not gonna stay like this. So that's on. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. And with this, I'm just putting the dots where I want the most coverage. And then I'll just very lightly blend it in. Again, under my eyes. There are sun, sun, there are sun sunscreens. There are some sun sunscreens that you can't use actually under your eye um, because they make your eye very sensitive. 
So I recommend using this one though under your eye. It doesn't make my eyes sensitive at all. All right, so sunscreen tinted moisturizer is on. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the under eyes. I haven't found a corrector that I personally like to use under the eyes that isn't too pink for me. So I still use the Age Rewind and I just put literally two dots, that's it. I don't put more than that and I use my ring finger and I just kind of blend that. And I use mainly, I like to focus it only on this outer half because that's where your darkness usually is. It's not usually down there. It's usually just in these little corners. A little bit there. So I just like to blend that. Also, I love putting on makeup over my sunscreen because it really just makes it look more natural and that's the whole juice of this. I only like to personally apply a bit of blush for my no makeup makeup looks. It's actually such a nice shade and it's got a really nice sheen to it. So it's not super matte, but it's not so shiny. So it kind of just looks like a glow within. I'm just using this flat tech, flat techniques. Oh my God. This real techniques flat sculpting brush and I'm just going in the back of my hand and I'm just kind of popping that on top it just see how it gives it just a very light sheen nothing crazy put a bit on my nose just the tip of my nose a bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin and then I just go over everything do you see how it just looks like a little daisy <laughs> for eyes i like to keep it quite simple this mascara basically doesn't have much in it it's kind of like dead so what i like to do oh that hair is like sticking out weirdly does anyone else have like a hair that like just doesn't want to cooperate with you rude so i like to like look up and i just oh i just poked myself live i wriggle it just on the root of my lash oh i just poked myself in the eye now i need a second to breathe Woo! I'm not bringing it up. Just like that. And that just kind of, do you see the difference? It just made my eye look way more fuller. I have this Mecca Max nude liner and I'm just gonna lightly, oh, why does that hurt when I do that? Cause there's so many lights pointing in my face. I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. You don't have to fill in your brows if you don't want. I am actually not gonna fill them in just for the sake of this video, but if you do want to fill them in, I would only suggest, I can't see. I would suggest just filling them out from there to there and very lightly. So this eyebrow um, brush that I have still has a bit of product very lightly on it. So I just kind of will use whatever's on there to just give them a bit of shape. And like, it's barely like nothing on there, so. I don't think it really is doing much, but to me, it just kind of works. I'm just using my soap brow and I'm just spraying some setting spray in here. Now I'm just gonna shape my brows. I feel like when I use this, the soap, it just makes my brows look fuller. So I just kind of brush them up. I have done an eyebrow video. If you guys want to watch it, I will link it up here for you. See how it just kind of gave my eyes so much more shape? Now I am getting my purple. <laughs> yes, just simple old purple. Putting a little bit on my finger and I'm just putting that all over. Now, because I like to define my lips a bit more, using this essence. What is this? Oh, eight. It's a very nude lip line and I'm just putting it. From there to there, there to there, and there to there. So not the whole lip. So guys, there you have it. My no makeup makeup look. It is actually, I think it is pretty good for the skin. It looks very natural and throughout the day, it just kind of looks like you're very radiant and fresh. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't seen my last video, my eyebrows and also my Valentine's look, please, if you want, actually give it a look, um, give it a look, give it a watch. <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped. Let me know if you guys try it and if you and all the products will be listed down below as well, especially the sunscreen. I highly recommend it. They do have different shades of tints. I just got this shade because I feel like it suits my skin a bit more and it's just very like glowy, radiant. It looks like you really don't have anything on and it's a tint and it lasts all day. I personally wear this makeup when I go to the gym if I want or if I'm running an errand or even to the beach because it doesn't get you sweaty because it's a sunscreen. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Just remember that you are amazing. You're a queen and you are unstoppable. No one can stop you and no one can stop you with this makeup. Do you even have makeup on? I don't know. Let me look closer. Let me look even closer. Do you have makeup on? <laughs> I'll let you be the judge of that. Bye my loves.